Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution. Last time when we left off we had basically cleared out the second visit to Detroit and had arrived at the convention center, so let's pick it up there. Now, something interesting about this segment. There's a social battle with William Taggart, which is actually one of my favorite sequences in the entire game. It's worth an achievement, so I'm going to show it to you and win it. But, in terms of maximum experience, this is the one time in the game it's actually more profitable to not do the social battle and to complete it in an alternate fashion. Notice I said not do the social battle. Losing the social battle isn't good either. The most profitable thing to do is to skip the conversation entirely and go for the alternate route to complete the mission. So, after I show you the social battle and win it for the achievement, I'll have to reload and go about the best experiential way to complete the goal, but just a heads up about all that. So here we are at the convention center. None of Taggart's men are worth any experience, so we don't need to do any takedowns. Anyway. Special tonight, press conference, Mr. Taggart, Head of Humanity Front, Room 2005, Invitation Only, Born Human, Be Human. Meeting Hall, Main Hall. You think they would actually work and not just sit there looking good? Damn, what is that? Tell me about it. Now with all the damage out there, I doubt we're gonna see any increase in funding anytime soon. Looks like the only thing escalating are those damn riots. This whole city is going to shit. Ah, hello. It is very commendable when someone like you shows interest in our work. I would try to explain it, but you obviously would not understand. I would try to explain it, but you obviously would not understand. You think they would actually work and not just sit there looking good? Damn budget cut. Looks like the only thing escalating are those damn riots. This whole city is going to shit. Looks like the only thing escalating are those damn riots. This whole city is going to shit. Gents, don't know how welcome someone like you will be in here. Watch your step. Taggart's got some of his own handling security. Can't say I like the way they look, though. Taggart's got some of his own handling security. Can't say I like the way they look, though. Nanotechnology and nano-augmented humans coming soon. Interesting. Let's talk to this guy. This is the end for your kind, Aug. This riot will force the UN to adopt regulations. The more draconian, the better, I say. You should be kept locked up. The more draconian, the better, I say. Oh. You're locked up. There was another weird burst of static and whatever. I guess I have to wait for her to get off the phone before she'll talk to me. I don't know how it started. I'll be fine. I don't know how the riot started, but I'm not going out there until the streets are cleared up. I heard the police had their hands full, though. Looters and vandals have joined the legitimate protesters. <laughs> now it's out of control. I heard the police had their hands full. Hey, it's relatively calm in here. Don't do anything to rile these people up. The riot outside is mostly contained in Seraph Plaza. We don't want it spreading. The riot outside is mostly contained in Seraph Plaza. We don't want it spreading. Bill is really changing the world for the better. We're changing it back to what it used to be. To before these people started poisoning their bodies. Or to use his words, their divine engines. See, I have no problem with amputees wanting to get augmentations. Especially our soldiers. That's the least they deserve after defending our country. Like Taggart's patient, Ezekiel. Right. And what happened to Ezekiel? He got himself a new limb that sent him into a spiral of despair because of the drugs. Essentially, what Bill Taggart is asking is, do we really want to have a world filled with addicts being forced to pay exorbitant amounts of money to a bunch of corporate neuropathy pushers? I just don't get why certain people have this loony idea that augmentations will make the world better. Well, as you can see by what's going on out there, I have a lot of work to do to convince the world. Hey, are you able to get in to hear Taggart's speech? I wish I could. He's my idol. I wish I could. He's my idol. 
So what do you think of Bill Taggart? Do you know the story of Ezekiel? Do you know the story of Ezekiel? The convention center has been quiet all night. I expect it to stay that way, understand? Damn Taggart. I'll bet he's enjoying this. Damn Taggart. I'll bet he's enjoying this. Jensen, don't know how welcome someone like you will be in here. Watch your step. Taggart's got some of his own handling security. Can't say I like the way they look, though. Taggart's got some of his own handling security. Can't say I like the way they look. Nothing but people down here, so we'll talk to him. I was attacked simply for having been to a limb clinic by people who were not augmented, people with an axe to grind. And do you know who saved me? An augmented man, a stranger. So you tell me where the real danger comes from. The humanity front is just that, a front. A front for hate mongering and, and, and William Taggart's irrational need to keep us in the dark ages. I'm not here to tell you that augmentations will make the world a better place. I'm here to stand up for my right to choose. When Hugh Darrow discovered the secret of augmentation, he, he gave us the chance to better ourselves, to reach for limits that we couldn't even imagine before. Well, you've just heard William Taggart speak, and isn't he a smooth talker? He doesn't want you to better yourselves. He wants to limit you. He wants the government to have jurisdiction over your body. You want to get augmented? Oh, no. I'm sorry, but we're not going to let you. You're not going to let me? Ha! And do you know how he's going to influence legislation? How he's going to convince you this is really what you want? With fear! He's already started! Look outside, in our streets. Who do you think whipped up that frenzy? And I don't blame them, I blame people like Tiger. People who are constantly trying to divide us by our differences, instead of uniting us by our similarities. Listen. I've been a victim of this anti-AUG backlash. I was attacked simply for having been to a limb clinic by people who were not augmented, people with an axe to grind. And do you know who saved me? An augmented man, a stranger. So you tell me where the real danger comes from. Okay, I think she's done. The humanity front. Yeah, she is. Just that. I don't want a any front. trouble. Please, I'm just trying to get home. And, Please, and, I'm just trying to get home. And William Man, Taggart's the riot police need are closing in. in the dark They're gonna lock ages. the whole place down. I'd get out of here if I were you. I'm not here to I'd tell you that here augmentations will make the world a better place. Miss. I don't want anyone seeing me talking to you. Oh, not right tonight. To Say it, you try to get me killed. Say it, you try to get me killed. Can't get into the main hall where the actual and speech was. Discovered the secret of augmentation. That William Taggart is brilliant. He gave He's us right. the chance to better Runaway ourselves, technology to reach for only limits to that we couldn't even imagine there before. There has to be some means of controlling this. There has to be some means of controlling this. Well, you just heard William Taggart speak, it, and I want nothing to do with talker. you. I want nothing he to do with you. He doesn't want you to better to yourself. To Mr. Taggart. He wants to limit you. Guys he wants the government to have jurisdiction I just over to your body. Still on the fence you want to get augmented? Oh, no. I thought you presented his side well. I just wanted to congratulate you. him. I'm still on the fence You're not about gonna the let me. Og thing. But I thought he presented his side well. I just can't subscribe you know to Taggart's Neanderthal opinions. It's like how he thinks human development is a sin. Is really I can't believe there are want? still people out there with, with such backward fear. mentalities. He's this UN resolution started. he wants passed is persecution, plain and simple. Agreed. He loves to claim over and over again what a peaceful organization Humanity Front is. But just look outside. In a non-direct way, he's promoting this kind of reaction. Well, there have always been nuts like Tiger trying to stop human progress. But by the end of the day, the human need to explore always wins out. He'll be a relic in no time. 
I hope you're right. I'm just wondering when Hugh Darrow time. is going to come out of I his shell and take a position. It seems like this whole plan. resolution is on hold until he speaks up. You're not actually going to hear that guy's speech, are you? I, for one, think people like Taggart should be muzzled. I, for one, think people like Taggart should be muzzled. Are you for or against human enhancement? I think everyone has the right to their opinion, but bigots like Taggart shouldn't be given a soapbox to stand on. I think everyone has the right to their opinion. Alright. Let's head up these stairs toward the meeting hall. Hey, are you able to get in to hear Taggart's speech? I don't know how it happened. One second it was a peaceful demonstration near the Lynn Clinic. The next, people are running towards Sarah Plaza grabbing anything they could. This is another black eye for our city. This is another black eye for our city. He gave us the chance to better our get up just because I don't agree with you on this. I'm not getting hot. It just frustrates me how some of you pro-humanists act so superior. Like you have all the answers to every ethical question ever posed. Well, who are you to think you can just turn yourself into robots, abuse drugs, and then think you can function freely in our society? You and that asshole tagger? Just try to take away my freedom and see what happens. Sorry, but I need to finish this discussion. These humanity front nuts are a bunch of smug sons of bitches. These humanity front nuts are a bunch of smug sons of bitches. Some people just need to calm down. I'm not the kind of person who argues in public. I'm not the kind of person who argues in public. I hope they brought in enough police to handle the rioters. If you ask me, these idiots will use any excuse to destroy property. If you ask me, these idiots will use any excuse to destroy property. Don't go looking to start trouble in here. Security's very tight for Mr. Taggart's visit. Most of his people look like thugs to me, but I'll bet they're well trained. Most of his anyway, people. Anyway, the meeting hall is the way forward through there, so for the moment, let's poke around the rest of the convention center. I don't really think there's anything except maybe some more people to talk to. Can't do anything that way. And this is just the top of that escalator we saw at the very beginning. But yeah, nothing to do except head in to the meeting hall zone. So let's do that. Got a meeting hall and a bathroom. Awesome. Now, uh, here are Taggart's security guards. You got a pass? Okay, you're good. Just don't stand around, please. Okay, you're good. Just don't stand around, please. The press conference is still going on. And you're clear to go on in. And you're clear to go on in. Watch it, sir. There are guards everywhere. Any attempt on Mr. Taggart will be met with deadly force. Don't even make any sudden moves. Don't even make any sudden moves. Backstage is up here. The bathrooms are right here. Shouldn't be here, sir. What are you doing in here, Hansa? Looking to start trouble? I'll be watching you. I'll be watching you. Okay, you're good. Just don't stand around. Let's check the other bathroom. All right. Well, let's go ahead and do the social battle. So, just so I can, uh... Number one, unlock the achievement, and number two, just show you one of the best moments in the game. Human evolution is a fantasy, but that is exactly what I am telling you. As a world... Where's your sidekick, Taggart? Confident, rational, perceptive. Six months ago, Seraph Industries was attacked by mercenaries whose objective was to cripple our research. But I've learned the attack was just a smokescreen. 
Megan Reed's team was kidnapped, and Isaiah Sandoval, your personal aide, was involved. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for Mr. Jensen's intrusion, and I assure you that these accusations are without basis. Are they? This is Sandoval. Why are you calling me here? There's been a change of plans. Seraph's team must not make it to the hearing. But that's too soon. If you want me to remove the GPLs, I'll need a full operating suite. Does the facility have one? That's your man, Taggart. Talking about removing implanted GPL devices so that the people who took Seraph's scientists could cover it up. I see what's going on here. Seraph Industries has received two black eyes in the last few days. The first due to the shocking news coming out of Montreal that biotech companies are secretly participating in unethical super soldier experiments. And the second as a result of their violent escalation of today's peaceful protest. David Seraph and his corporate bedfellows are desperate and in imminent danger of losing the regulation vote, so this man has been sent here to attack my reputation. I'm right here, Taggart. Look at me. I admit, I wouldn't feel bad if your reputation was damaged in front of the press, since you've been doing the same to my colleagues for years. But that's not why I'm here. Seraph scientists are alive, and it's time for the truth to come out. The truth, Mr. Jensen, is that this recording of yours proves nothing. It could have been made by anyone in the world with a grudge against Humanity Front, and you are our prime suspect. Is very adept at learning about people and understanding them. If he is denied information, he has nothing to exploit. Will try to sway an audience onto his side in order to win a debate. His accusations must be confronted directly to show him no weakness. Believes himself of higher quality than other persons and will demonstrate this by pointing out their failings. Personal attacks on his own character will destabilize his lofty position and make him cautious. Let's redirect. Don't try and make me look like the crook here. Sarif Industries was attacked six months ago. You can't deny that. And your people were involved. I've already publicly disavowed those actions, Mr. Jensen. How does that attack relate to the authenticity of this alleged proof of yours? If you're so certain of your evidence, I encourage you to take it to the police instead of coming here and besmirching the reputations of me and my people. We know what your real problem is. You want to blame someone for your transformation from a full and capable human to someone reliant upon mechanical assistance. I'm going to try redirecting again. It didn't work last time, but... I can worry about myself later. What's really important now is the five innocent people whose lives were stolen from them during that attack. Sandoval knows where they are. Now where is he? There. Do you see what you just did? The way you avoided talking about your real problem? What do you expect to gain here? This isn't going well. <laughs> uh, I think the first one I have to do is confront. Human evolution is a fantasy, but that is exactly what I am telling you. As a world... Where's your sidekick, Taggart? <gasps> Six months ago, Seraph Industries was attacked by mercenaries whose objective was to cripple our research. But I've learned the attack was just a smokescreen. Megan Reed's team was kidnapped, and Isaiah Sandoval, your personal aide, was involved. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for Mr. Jensen's intrusion, and I assure you that these accusations are without basis. Are they? This is Sandoval. Why are you calling me here? There's been a change of plans. Seraph's team must not make it to the hearing. But that's too soon. If you want me to remove the GPLs, I'll need a full operating suite. Does the facility have one? That's your man, Taggart. Talking about removing implanted GPL devices so that the people who took Seraph scientists could cover it up. I see what's going on here. Seraph Industries has received two black eyes in the last few days. The first due to the shocking news coming out of Montreal that biotech companies are secretly participating in unethical super soldier experiments. And the second as a result of their violent escalation of today's peaceful protest. David Seraph and his corporate bedfellows are desperate and in imminent danger of losing the regulation vote, so this man has been sent here to attack my reputation. I'm right here, Taggart. Look at me. 
I admit, I wouldn't feel bad if your reputation was damaged in front of the press, since you've been doing the same to my colleagues for years. But that's not why I'm here. Seraf scientists are alive, and it's time for the truth to come out. The truth, Mr. Jensen, is that this recording of yours proves nothing. It could have been made by anyone in the world with a grudge against Humanity Front, and you are our prime suspect. I'm gonna discredit. You got a lot of nerve to accuse me of lying. I'm not the one standing in front of a crowd of people hiding my involvement in kidnapping and murder. My involvement, Mr. Jensen? Your recording doesn't prove that. If you play that recording for the police, at best, they'll dismiss it. At worst, they'll tell you to seek counseling. So, why are you really here? We all know you suffered a terrible tragedy in the attack on Seraph Industries. Why can't you put it behind you? I'm gonna discredit again. The reason I'm obsessed with the past Taggart is that there are still five people missing and their attackers haven't paid for what they did. Your refusal to help me is getting in the way of justice. Y wait, wait! I, I never meant to imply that I wasn't interested in seeing justice done. If you could see your situation clearly, you would realize you're being driven by your losses. Your actions are motivated by an attempt to regain a sense of control at my expense. You're turning me into your enemy when I'm not. Let's redirect. You want to talk about control, Taggart? Let's talk about yours. It takes a lot of discipline to stand up in front of the press every time a pro-augmentation company or clinic is assaulted and then deny responsibility. How does it feel to know your people are so out of control they would resort to violence like that? My people aren't the ones committing these actions, Mr. Jensen, much as you might want it otherwise. My life has been an open book since I created Humanity Front. I could have sought the death penalty after an augmentation addict murdered my wife, but I didn't. Because I am passionately opposed to violence, as is every member of Humanity Front. I say again, every member. Your claim to the contrary is a lie. I'm gonna redirect again. What happened to your wife was tragic. But what's happening to Sarah Scientist is going on right now, and you have a chance to do something about it. You have nothing to lose if Sandoval's innocent. And if he isn't, you can preserve your reputation by helping me. Why won't you do that? Because I have given you every opportunity. That didn't work either. <clears throat> Sorry. I have to play through it again. We got the first two right, but then we tanked. Evolution is a fantasy, but that is exactly what I am telling you. As a world... Where's your sidekick, Taggart? Six months ago, Seraph Industries was attacked by mercenaries whose objective was to cripple our research. But I've learned the attack was just a smokescreen. Megan Reed's team was kidnapped, and Isaiah Sandoval, your personal aide, was involved. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for Mr. Jensen's intrusion, and I assure you that these accusations are without basis. Are they? This is Sandoval. Why are you calling me here? There's been a change of plans. Seraph's team must not make it to the hearing. But that's too soon. If you want me to remove the GPLs, I'll need a full operating suite. Does the facility have one? That's your man, Taggart. Talking about removing implanted GPL devices so that the people who took Seraph scientists could cover it up. I see what's going on here. Seraph Industries has received two black eyes in the last few days. The first due to the shocking news coming out of Montreal that biotech companies are secretly participating in unethical super soldier experiments. And the second as a result of their violent escalation of today's peaceful protest. David Seraph and his corporate bedfellows are desperate and in imminent danger of losing the regulation vote, so this man has been sent here to attack my reputation. I'm right here, Taggart. Look at me. 
I admit, I wouldn't feel bad if your reputation was damaged in front of the press, since you've been doing the same to my colleagues for years. But that's not why I'm here. Seraph scientists are alive, and it's time for the truth to come out. The truth, Mr. Jensen, is that this recording of yours proves nothing. It could have been made by anyone in the world with a grudge against Humanity Front, and you are our prime suspect. Discredit. You got a lot of nerve to accuse me of lying. I'm not the one standing in front of a crowd of people hiding my involvement in kidnapping and murder. My involvement, Mr. Jensen? Your recording doesn't prove that. I know why you came here instead of taking your recording to the police. I know the real reason for your accusations, and you're not entirely to blame for what you're doing. It is common, after trauma such as the one you suffered, to fixate on the event to stay blocked in the past. In a word, you're obsessed. I'm gonna confront. You're right. Picking up my life after that surgery was the hardest thing I've ever done. Hell, first time I saw myself in a mirror, I smashed the damn thing. But I've gotten past it, because I know that what I need to do to make things right is help the other victims of that attack. Well, you may have a point. Perhaps. If you could see your situation clearly, you would realize you're being driven by your losses. Your actions are motivated by an attempt to regain a sense of control at my expense. You're turning me into your enemy when I'm not. Let's confront again. Of course I want control. Every time I touch something I wonder, just for a second, every time, if what I'm feeling is real. It's a bit like being in charge of an organization, I bet. Do you always know what the people at Humanity Front, your people, are doing? Of course not. Well, that is to say, I don't need to. From the very day I founded Humanity Front, I made it clear that the group would be devoted to non-violent resistance. To deviate from this would mean dishonoring the memory of the very woman whose murder caused me to found the organization. Mr. Jensen, how can you possibly accuse me of doing otherwise? I'm gonna confront one more time. I know about your wife's murder, Mr. Taggart. And how it led you to start Humanity Front. I've lost someone close to me too, but I have a chance to get her back. If Sandoval is involved in Megan's abduction in any way, he dishonored your wife's memory. For her sake, and for the sake of my people, I need to know where he is. All right, Mr. Jensen. You're right. For Marjorie's sake, I can't risk tainting the integrity of what I built in her name. I'll help you find Isaiah, and I pray that you are wrong about him. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize, but I'm going to have to beg your indulgence for a few moments more. All please remain patient. I will return as soon as I can. Thank you. <coughs> Mr. Jensen, I'll see you backstage. All right, well, I got the last choice wrong, but that shouldn't matter. Achievement unlocked. The throwdown. You convinced the smooth-talking politician, Bill Taggart, to tell the truth in public. That's 31 out of 49 achievements, up to 63%. And now... Before I reload, let's just talk to everyone in this room. If they'll even talk to me. Have you seen what's happening at Seraph Plaza? A riot, just in front of the building. I wouldn't go there now if you paid me. I wouldn't go there now if you paid me. Man! The riot police are closing in. Gonna lock the whole place down. I'd get out of here if I were you. I'd get out of here if I were you. Wow, you've got some nerve showing up here. You looking to cause trouble or something? You looking to cause trouble or something? This is horrible. They're gonna blame Mr. Taggart for this riot. I've already heard some people say it was his speech that sparked the violence. 
But that's ridiculous. I've already heard some people say it was his speech that sparked the violence. But that's ridiculous. That William Taggart is brilliant. He's right. Runaway technology will only lead to self-destruction. There has to be some means of controlling this. There has to be some means of controlling this. If we don't listen to Bill Taggart, the corporations are going to completely take over. We need to get a UN resolution on this. Someone needs to step up to the plate. We need to get a UN resolution on this. Someone. Don't bother me, please. You're scaring me. Please go away. You're scaring me. Please go away. How can any sane people do this? They're out of control. I've never witnessed a mob before. It was so scary. I've never witnessed a mob before. It was so scary. I can tell by the way you look. You and I are not gonna be friends. Take a walk, you bucket of bolts. Take a walk, you bucket of bolts. Look around! This ain't the time! Get the hell out of here! Get the hell out of here! I don't know how the riot started, but I'm not going out there until the streets are cleared up. I heard the police had their hands full, though. Looters and vandals have joined the legitimate protesters. Now it's out of control. I heard the police had their hands full, though. Looters and vandals have joined the legitimate protesters. Now it's out of control. I think it may be safer to stay in here for a while. Protests are really starting to get out of hand. Protests are really starting to get out of hand. All right, time to reload with the. Now you've seen the you've seen the conversation and one of the possible ways to win it. We've got the achievement, but because it is much more. Well, not much more, about 220 experience points, but because it is more profitable to, uh, do the other possible method of completing this mission. Uh-oh. We're going to do it that way. Losing the social battle, like I said, isn't any good. You have to skip it all together to maximize your experience. I'm just going to start taking out bodyguards. I don't have to set up double takedowns because they're not worth any XP, but there are alarm panels and such that I need to hack. So let's get his pocket secretary and read it. Backstage area code from dispatch at 48626-48911.st.org to FM at 48626-48911.st.org. Hello, Frankie. We didn't want to take any chances with the pro -Aug nuts here in Detroit, so we had all the security codes in the center changed. The code to the restricted backstage area and Mr. Taggart's quarters has been changed to 3754. The only people allowed back there are invited guests with VIP passes and security personnel. Keep up the good work, Sam. Sammy, dispatch. All right, let's drag him on over. Now, I can't remember... Okay, yeah. These vents are both the same, and eventually they do go backstage, but I need to finish my business out here first. All right, let's bag this guy. Come on, show your okay, that's no good. The other dude's gonna see. Doesn't seem like he should see though. Problem is, I need to hack that alarm panel. You had enough? Come on. Hmm. Well, maybe I can get the other guy. Huh? 
anyone's here, come out now. Hold it! Yeah, I knew that wasn't gonna work out. One important thing to note too, if you do it this way, there is a ghost and smooth operator bonus to worry about. So you can't let anyone turn hostile and spot you. Perfect. He had some painkillers. Gotta let the camera pan away. What now? Damn it. Alright, let's keep a close eye on the camera. Alright, I should be good now. There we go. That's what I wanted. Alright. With him down, nice and clean, I should be able to get this guy with no consequence. Which is always a relief. Drag him under the tape, same as I did his buddy. Wait for the camera to pan away so I can hide the body. Now let's see if he's got anything I want. No. Nothing at all. Now let's start hacking alarm panels. According to the wiki, there are five. Here's the first one. Pretty straightforward, just one data store. It's got a nuke Base virus, 50 XP. Disabled. That's four alarm panels to go. Now here we've got the camera. Okay, looking at the wiki, we can't hack this door, so there's no real reason for me to worry about it. That much is good. Access granted. Nuke virus, 50 XP, disable the panel. That leaves three to go. How long before the speech is over? Not too long now. I'll escort Taggart backstage and you make sure nobody tries to sneak in. I'll take a walk and make sure everyone else is in position. Alright, I got spotted backstage. We can't have that or we'll lose Ghost. What I want to do though is find the security hub. So I can shut off the cameras. The footage sparking the riots appears to show scientists 
Don't you want to know what's going on out there? I just can't watch these cowards with masks throw rocks. I believe in their cause, though. I don't feel like being a slave to a bunch of super soldiers in five years. Commented on the images. I want the world to know that we at Tyro Medical have not and never will join the I think this is Taggart's bedroom. Taggart's room. On maintaining a safe environment and an ethical approach to research at all times. We in and members of the Obviously don't want to drop down right in front of all the guards. Well, the vent's not really going to work either. The security hub might actually be in Taggart's room. Let me go straight there and see. And even if it's not, I can at least get the ghost and smooth operator bonuses. And not have to worry about stealth anymore. That's always a big relief. Turn this off, man. Why? Don't you want to know what's going on? I just can't watch these cowards with masks rocks. I believe in that I don't feel Alright, we got 100 XP for taking the vent. Oh, and look, here's the security hub. Perfect. Let's hack into this bad boy. I think it's level 4, but that's no problem. Oops. Maybe it is a problem. Access granted. 100 credits, nuke virus, 100 XP. Now I can turn off the cameras. Beautiful. So now I should be able to pop back out there, deal with those two guys. Oh boy. Well, fine, let's pull one over here. Huh? What's that? Not having to do double takedowns is a pretty big relief, I'll tell you that. Fifty six credits, three machine pistol bullets. Now let's sneak up on the other guy, which shouldn't be very difficult at all. With the camera off and the other one taken down. Drag him back out to this hallway. With that done, we can hack this third alarm panel. Exact same grid as the other two. Access got my nuke virus, got my 50 XP. 
Let's disable the alarm. That's the TV room. This is the back exit. Which we'll check in a minute. Humanity, which way now? When no one is human, who will be humane? This is the back of the press room. So Taggart and his other two bodyguards are currently inside there. There's the other entrance to the TV room where there are three more guards. Get this one, pull him over here with his buddies. Does he have anything? No. One of the three is down. Drag him out of the way. That should leave me with just two to go. Them I might not even need to mess with. We'll see. And they're not facing this door, I realize. This is a storage room. Oh, well, we should definitely see what's inside it. Behind the crates, we find 92 credits. Better than nothing, but not by much. And here we have an ammo case. Four tranquilizer darts, three stun gun darts. Alright, I guess that room's not totally worthless. And now let's pop back into the little TV room. Let's see if we can get this guy without alerting his friend. I was going to say, I very much doubt it, but we'll try. But then again... Thousands of angry rioters took to the streets in several cities this evening. After yeah, I'm going to have to deal with these guys one way or another, so. Detroit, oh, what's Toronto, that noise? Mumbai, and Rio de Janeiro, all report violence. Let's pull them out of there. Outside the doors of one at a time. As Kusanagi, Isole, and Serif Industries. The footage striking the riots appears to show scientists performing crude torture-like experiments on all right. That one has a Cyber Boost Pro Energy Bar. Yank him around the corner, and then we'll deal with the last one. Leave that guy where he is. Now we can try to pull the last one out. I heard that. Come out. Moral responsibility. Looks as if the ball is now firmly in the United Nations court. There's he got up off the couch, he's coming out the door. Thousands of angry rioters took to the streets in several cities this evening. I shouldn't have to do anything with him, but I will. Just in case something happens that pulls those last two through the door. 
Not that I think it will, but it always pays to be certain. I'll leave him there. Now we can head into this room. Turn off the TV and shut Eliza up. Augmented super soldiers. Thank goodness. Now let's hack this fourth alarm panel. Same grid as the others again. Access granted. Nuke virus, 50 XP. Disable the alarm. Is the fifth panel in here? I hope so, it should be. But it's not. I'm, so I'm missing one. I don't think it's in this room either. It's gotta be somewhere out here. That's one, two. Is it down here, maybe? Anyone there? I saw that! It's too late to hide! Come here! I heard that. Come out. That's enough! There it is. Okay. It's down the back stairs, and actually, I should go explore the back stairs. Anyway. It looks like there's plenty of action there. But before I do that, right here by the coffee maker. A Hugh Darrow ebook, 200 XP. Vegas Nerve Stimulators, repurposing the technology from a lecture given by Hugh Darrow at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, 2011. We're all familiar with Vagus Nerve Stimulator devices and their use in the treatment of partial epilepsy. This year, the patent lockout ends on this technology. And as such, we're at a point where the introduction of generic Vagus Nerve Stimulator systems is a viable possibility. The vagus nerve can be stimulated artificially to modulate neuroplasticity in the brain without the need for invasive surgery. Correctly controlled, governance of neurotransmitter release in brain tissue is simply a matter of degree. Recently, we have come to understand that with neuromodulation of the immune system through the release of neurotransmitters in the brain, we can decrease systemic inflammation, speed healing, and in fact, control the cycles of immune function. This has led to an increase in our understanding of thinking of the immune system as a rechargeable battery. Very interesting. I guess we'll go ahead and take care of Taggart's computer, too. Instead of going down the stairs and then coming back. I admit that seems a little weird. Oh, there's a weak wall here. Probably goes straight into that storeroom. Alright. Searching the dressing room. I'm not really finding anything else. So let's hack Taggart's computer. W. Taggart. There is one data store. Nuke virus. 25 XP. From IS at four. Seraph, Sandoval's in Detroit. Hold up in some apartment building on Grand River Road. I'm heading there now. All right. But Adam, you think Taggart's involved? There's no hard evidence yet to prove it. Too bad. But you know there could be. If you upload that data recording you got in Montreal onto his computer... You're asking me to frame him? We could lose everything, Adam, given the mood out there. We may have to get our hands dirty to fix it. Well, you got a problem with that? Except... No problem at all. Good. Sarah Felt. Now, you want to do- this is why you want to skip the conversation. You don't get that option, and it's worth another full 750 XP to do it. There we go, I got Ghost, I got Smooth Operator, and I got two Getting Things Done bonuses, which ultimately makes that worth 2275 XP, whereas winning the social battle gets you a total of 2000. Anyway. From IS at 48626 48911.st.org to 
WT at 48626-48911.st.org. Lay low. Sir, forgive me, but I will not be able to attend your speech this evening. I'm having something of a family emergency. Several of my brother's kids are getting out of control, and, well, I'm sure you can appreciate why I need to be available to them. If you need to reach me, I have retired to the apartment I usually use, not far from the Chiron building, on Grand River Road. All of this is unfortunate, but I take consolation in the fact that these sacrifices will allow us to better do God's work. Sincerely, Isaiah. From noaugs32 at gaggle.net to wt at 48626-48911.st.org. Your book changed my life. Mr. Taggart, I don't know if you read all your mails or if you have people doing this sort of thing for you, but regardless, I hope this message reaches you. Your book, No Better, The Myth of Human Augmentation, changed my life. I owe you so much, it is hard for me to express. I have never been a really attractive woman. I'm a bit on the chubby side, and my traits are not those favored by the canons of the times. I always resented my appearance and the way I felt when people looked at me. For years, I obsessed about surgery and augmentations. I never had the money or the courage, but I always dreamed of having the perfect eyes, the perfect face, the perfect arms, and so on and so forth. I was disgusted with myself, with this ugly shell I was stuck in. But when I read your book and about all this augmentation nonsense not really being about the bettering of oneself, but rather about indulging in one's self-rejection and self-disgust, it really struck a chord. All I wanted to do was poison my body, deform it, and pollute it with foreign elements. Elements that are not human. Elements that are not me. I am better now. I've joined a group for people with low self-esteem, and I've gotten better. I am one of your most avid supporters, and I think you are a living legend. Someone who will be remembered for hundreds of years to come. Thank you so much, Nancy. From Paul Strice at yazura.det.usa. 2. WT at 48626-48911.st.org Regarding, go back to Utah. Whatever, fucking religious nut. You wrote, I am sorry that you feel this way, Mr. Strice. Truly, I am. And although I suspect I am merely wasting my breath, I would still like to try and better expose to you my point of view. I do believe in God, as you so rightly point out, and the value and sanctity of the human body. And although this may be a direct result of my Mormon upbringing, it is not the reason I advocate an end to human enhancement technologies. The basis for my belief, for my thesis, and indeed the reason I founded the Humanity Front in the first place, is because of what I personally witnessed in the months following my wife's death, and then for years afterward during my practice as a professional psychologist. Might I suggest that you reread my book and then maybe you'll revise your assertions? I would have suggested you simply read the book in the first place, as I doubt you actually have, but that would have been rather insulting, wouldn't it? Regardless, I admire your dedication in pursuing what you believe in and pushing this discussion forward with those who see things differently. Sincerely yours, William R. Taggart. Paul Strice at yazura.det.usa wrote, This is the East Coast, Taggart. We're liberals here, and we actually enjoy freedom. Go back to Utah with your 12 wives and non-evolutionist theories. Fucking zealot. Your book is shit. From 02052 at hk.pi.net. To wt at 48626-48911.st.org. This conversation was automatically saved in your inbox. WT. Again, I'm telling you we should wait until the vote. hk.pi.02052. I understand the value of prudence to a point. This is a mistake. We have to act now. We have to secure this as soon as possible. Why? What happens if we get caught? We won't. There's confident and there's presumptuous. I'm telling you, it's out of your hands. And I'm telling you, the population will listen. They're ready. This is a mistake. From 419 at scowlingmask.ni to WT at 48626-48911.st.org. Urgent response needed. Attention, the president slash CEO, dear sir, confidential business proposal. Having consulted with my colleagues, and based on the information gathered from the Nigerian Chambers of Commerce and Industry, I have the privilege to request for your assistance to transfer the sum of 47,500,000 credits into your accounts. The above sum resulted from an over-invoiced contract executed, commissioned, and paid for about five years ago by a foreign contractor. This action was, however, intentional, and since then the fund has been in a suspense account at the Central Bank of Nigeria Apex Bank. 
We are now ready to transfer the fund overseas, and that is where you come in. It is important to inform you that as civil servants, we are forbidden to operate a foreign account. That is why we require your assistance. The total sum will be shared as follows. 70% for us, 25% for you, and 5% for local and international expenses incident to the transfer. The transfer is risk-free on both sides. I am an accountant with the Nigerian National Transhumanism Corporation, NNTC. If you find this proposal acceptable, we shall require the following documents. A. Your banker's name, telephone, account, and fax numbers. B. Your private telephone and fax numbers for confidentiality and easy communication. C. Your letter-headed paper stamped and signed. Alternatively, we will furnish you with the text of what to type into your letter-headed paper, along with a breakdown explaining comprehensively what we require of you. The business will take us 30 working days to accomplish. Please reply urgently. So, well, let's get rid of all these new tags. First, let's look at what happened to our goals. Because we completed go to the convention center and obtain Sandoval's location from Taggart. We got and completed the secondary objective, frame Taggart by planting evidence on his computer. I know that Sandoval helped the mercenaries kidnap Megan, but there's no hard evidence tying Taggart to the crime. Seraph wants me to change that by planting Eliza's recording on Taggart's computer. Question is, what do I want to do? Primary objective, get inside Sandoval's apartment. Pritchard was right. Sandoval left the convention center hours ago. He's got an apartment on Grand River Road, not far from the Chiron building. If I hope to confront him and get answers, I've got to get inside his apartment. Now, we got one Praxis point, which... Hell, I don't know. I'll get radar, too. I mean, at this point, there's almost nothing worthwhile left. Those are both completely useless. That's useless, that's useless. I think next... I'll get flash suppressant, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, it's good. It's a good feeling to be running out of useful things to do. Hell, I'm running out of things to do. Which I guess is the goal, if you're going for maximum XP. The idea is to unlock all of the augmentations. Any idea what's going on out there? Apparently it's settling down a little. At least it cleared the streets. I heard they were pretty aggressive. Yeah, I heard that too. I'm happy we don't have to go out there. Amen to that. Alright, I'm gonna go back and make sure no one's sneaking around though. Let's get him! Don't care because completed the objective, got my stealth bonuses. So it doesn't actually matter that they spotted me. That one has 27 credits. I'm not sure what's through here. Let's go find out. like just one more bodyguard. Huh? He's got 19 credits and 11 machine pistol bullets. So let's get back in here because there's a exploration bonus inside this staircase somewhere that I'd like to get. There it is. 200 XP for taking that dive, and that seems to be the best way to make it trigger. Finally, right here we've got the last alarm panel. So let's hack it, let's hack it and... Got my nuke virus, and we're out. 50 XP, disable the alarm, and let's move out. We've heard that already. What's through here? Exit to Detroit City. Okay, well let's head out this back exit, 
and we're done with the convention center. Okay, now we have access to the other side quest, Smash the State. I'm going to do that first. Now that I'm back out here. This is important. There he is. Officer Nicholas gives us the other it's side a quest. Source, God damn it. I need backup now. Jensen? I almost didn't recognize you. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, what are the chances? Do you remember me? I was a rookie when you still rolled in SWAT. Nikki, of course I remember you. How you been? The brass got you on ride control too? Yeah, yeah, I am. Or I was until... Damn it. Look, something big is going down and I'm kind of freaking out here. You remember that MCB'er, Jacob White? You busted him a couple of times. Yeah, I remember him. Assault and possession. He's still running rackets? No, no, I mean, yeah, shit, I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter, because he's moved on to bigger things. Nikki, slow down. Listen, hear me out. I just got word he has his hands on some real military-grade explosives. The prick's got a fucking bomb, Adam. And you know how much he hates the PD. He's going to hit us while we have our pants down with the riots. You gotta help us out here. Nikki, I'm kind of busy. If he's got a bomb, just call it in and follow procedure. What do you think I've been doing? I've been on the horn all night, and my CO already sent a patrol over to Jacob's house. We've got a warrant, so they searched the place, but nothing came up, not even Jacob. Now they're saying my CI is probably full of shit and just fucking with me. <laughs> Bullshit! Jacob's using the riots as cover, and he's going to hit us, and hit us hard. Adam, I need you to trust me on this. You gotta help me find Jacob. Let's go. Details. Task. What is it exactly that you need me to do? You mean you'll help me out? Really? I didn't say that. Assuming I did agree to help, what would you need me to do exactly? Oh. Well, based on Jacob's history and his new political agenda, I can almost guarantee he's going after cops. I've warned everyone working street detail and anyone else who'd listen to keep an eye out. But with half the force tied up with the protests and rioting, I can't get the manpower for a proper search. I need you to check a few spots my CI thinks Jacob could be at, and take care of the threat if you can. Even if you find nothing, great. It put my mind at ease at least. Reward? Nikki, look, I don't work for the city anymore, and I don't exactly have a lot of time right now. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Look, the cops have a Deadpool going. I don't like it. But you kill a cop killer and you get a bounty. I usually reserve this to pay off our CIs, but if Jacob really is going after us, then he's as good as dead as far as I'm concerned. You take him out, the bounty is yours. To be honest though, I'd rather see him rotting behind bars. If you can knock him out and give him to us alive, I'll try to sweeten the deal. Okay, let's go about. How did White even manage to get his hands on explosives? My source says he got the bomb materials from some government stash out in Highland Park. It's all I know so far. But it all fits! He was last seen ranting at a rally about shattering the foundation of the hypocrisy or some bullshit like that. You know, quoting Che Guevara and talking about violent revolution. Did he have the shirt too? What? Anyway, he practically named the date and time of this reckoning. And it's tonight! It has to be! Wow, my frame rate is tanking, and I don't know why. I guess we'll just have to struggle through it since we're in the middle of the conversation. Jacob White. Come on, Jensen. I have to admit, Nikki, I'm having a hard time believing White could come up with something like this. He can barely tie his own shoelaces without tripping all over himself. That was then. This is now. After his last stint in Standish, he got bug-eyed crazy. Started talking about how the gang war and derelict row was all part of a government plot, and it's time he did something about it. I remember him saying that augmented kid we took down last year was a cover-up. Exactly! And he's been railing against Wayne Haas, the PD, and anyone else involved in that ever since. I'm telling you, Adam, he's been getting more and more violent. 
Now he's got explosives, and we've got a giant bullseye painted on our ass. All right, let's go with Source. So why is it nobody trusts your Source? He used to run with White's old crew, but he's a three-strike perp facing a dime on some damn parole violation. He's trying to cop a deal, so nobody trusts him. Thing is, I know he's reliable. He hasn't bullshitted me yet, and I don't think he's doing it now. Okay, let's return. And accept. Fine. I'll help. Let's go over what we know. Just the facts. What we know? Just the facts? What we know is he's certified batshit crazy. Hates cops, quotes Che Guevara, and got his hands on military-grade explosives. What more do you need to know? Oh, Christ, man. I've got nobody to help me and... And I can't even breathe. How am I supposed to find this guy? The bomb could be right under us, right now! Okay. Here is where you can determine your maximum XP. Your, the objective he gives you, the number of sites to check out, changes depending on whether you chastise, encourage, or use your pheromones. We need to use the beta pheromones, which is charm. That'll get us four sites to check out, which is the maximum. So that's what you want to do. Look, Nick. It's your rodeo. How do you want to play this? How the fuck should I know? I'm gonna get people killed unless they figure out a way to find this asshole. I need help! Just focus, okay? We know that White hates cops, so his first target is probably gonna be the precinct or somewhere nearby. Make sense? I don't know. We'll have to check everywhere. The precinct is locked down, but that still leaves the transit station, the sewers, hell, even the alleys. Oh, Jesus Christ. What if he just wants to blow up the bank and rob it? Can you check those, Adam? I gotta stay here on the horn or the CO will have my ass. Search the Detroit City Bank, search the Metro Tunnel, search the alley, search the sewers. Anything else? No problem. Anything else you can give me? I... Uh, I don't know. You remember what White looks like, right? Tall, Caucasian, skinhead? He's not the quietest guy, so you'll probably hear him before you see him. Yeah, a real philosopher king. I remember. Yeah, so if you just keep your eyes and ears open, I'm sure you'll find him. Also, I heard he's had some major augmentation work done. I'd be extra careful around him. I think the white we used to know has been replaced with something much worse. Got it. I know it's a long shot, but I'm hoping we get back up to expand the search. In the meantime, we can check those areas, and who knows, maybe we'll catch a break. Oh, and Jensen, please don't turn him into a martyr. I'd prefer him breathing. Okay. So our new side quest is S2, smash the state. So primary objectives. Search the Detroit City Bank. Nikki also suggested I search for White in the area around the Detroit City Bank. I should check the front entrance for anything suspicious and do a quick pass of the exterior. Search the Metro Tunnel. Nikki thinks I should search the subway tunnel near the precinct. I can start from one end and work my way to the other looking for anything suspicious. Search the alley. I've agreed to help a former colleague, Officer Nicholas, find Jacob White. According to sources, he may be planning to detonate a bomb somewhere in Detroit. Nikki thinks I may find him in the alley behind the police precinct. I should look for him there. Search the sewers. White could be hiding in the sewers underneath the precinct. I should enter through a manhole in the alley directly behind the building and search there. So, you want to do every... He's in the sewers, so you want to do the other three first, so those objectives don't get cancelled. Well, my frame rate recovered before the conversation was over. That's good. I don't know what that hiccup was. But it doesn't really matter. So we'll start off in the subway tunnel, since it's right over here. The riots outside Seraph are still going on. Oh, come on, people. Well, let's just bounce through here. See, using the beta pheromones was, I think, theoretically the worst thing we could do, because, you know, it got him all panicked and he rattled off all those locations. Like, if you encourage him, he narrows it down to two, but obviously we want four, because we get 100 XP for each one. So search the metro tunnel is complete. That's 100 XP. Nothing going on here. 
So let's head out to Jefferson Drive. The bank is back here, so we'll do that next. Search the Detroit City Bank is complete for 100 XP. Oh yeah, I guess I should make a new uh, permanent save since I got through the convention center with my stealth bonuses. Now let's head into the alley behind the police station and get that one done. You can already see some turrets have appeared in the sewers underneath us. Search the alley is complete for another 100 XP. That just leaves the sewers. We don't have to worry about stealth. We just need to not get destroyed. So you can hear the beeping. Oops. I really didn't want that. I need to pay better attention. Ah, yes, he's employed a fragmentation mine. So let's just walk up to it very slowly. There's one. There's another one over behind those crates. And one behind this barrel, too. Seems like they always come in groups of four. There's three. I have to be careful not to bump the crates. Oh, there are more. At least two more, looks like. Okay. One of my favorite moves is hauling turrets like this. Let's me bag them whether they're disabled or not. Let's get more carefully behind it. Now, let's figure out what I'm going to use to blow it up. I think one of those frag mines I've picked up will work just fine. I'd be even happier using a frag grenade, so let's do that. Forty five XP for the first turret. Of course, now Jacob is alarmed and coming to check things out. Or is he? I don't think that's him. I think that's someone above me. 
That's what it looks like, anyway. Oh, we can blow this one, too. I think I'll blow it right where it is. <laughs> no, I didn't want to blow up Jacob White. Okay, I guess I do need to pull the turret out. But the security hub is right here. I'd better hack it before I destroy everything. We can go right for the server node. Access granted. 250 credits, 100 XP. Nothing to do but mess with the turrets, which I don't actually want to do. I want to junk the turrets. But I want to do it without hurting Mr. White if I can. So let's grab the turret from right behind it. Let's pull it all the way out into this quadrant, or this hallway. Let's see if that's sufficient to junk it without <laughs> Killing Jacob. It is! Good. There's Jacob himself. I guess I'll just wait for him to turn around and then pop him. Heck, I don't even need to do that. Let's pull him out here. Search the sewers is complete. New objective is take out Jacob White. I found Jacob White. I need to eliminate the threat he poses by either knocking him unconscious or killing him. Whack. <laughs> 50 XP for the takedown. Plus, completing the goal, take out Jacob White, is 750. So return to Officer Nicholas and disable Jacob's bomb. Pocket Secretary. Righteous action from J. White at smashthestate.det.usa to to all at smashthestate.det.usa. Rise up, brothers and sisters. The state's grip may be tightening around people's necks, but it can't choke everyone. The gang war in Derelict Row is being provoked by the government to distract people from the nuclear silos they're building below our feet. FEMA is the new intelligence wing of the Department of Defense, but I'm about to repay them. Oh yes, I've liberated explosives for the cause. Join me and help strike a blow against the government and their neo-fascist foot soldiers. Together we can reshape this once great nation. Okay, now, a couple of th important things to note. First, I gotta wait for the turret to turn around so I can junk it. Without any fear of serious damage. need to pull it out here and then get right behind it. I'll drop it out here and bag it with a frag mine. There they are. Yeah. 
There we go, another 45 XP. So now let's check out my new goals. They are... Secondary objective, disable Jacob's bomb. Turns out the bomb Jacob installed in the sewers is not built to detonate, but because it contains toxic gas, it still poses a threat. I should disable it. And return to Officer Nicholas. Jacob White has been taken care of. I should return to the Tr Detroit Convention Center and let Nikki know what went down. So, two things to do here. First, I gotta find the bomb. There it is. Now, obviously, we want to hack it for the 100 XP, but before we do, just try typing in 0000. zero, zero, zero. That disarmed it and got us an achievement. Lucky guess. Maybe next time, Jacob will use a more complex code when arming a bomb. 32 out of 49 achievements, that's 65%. So we got that one, very good. Now we'll reload, just so we can get the 100 XP for the hack. So let's do the level 4 hack instead. Same grid as we had on the uh, security hub. Access granted. 250 credits, 100 XP. There we've disabled Jacob's bomb for another 750 XP. And now let's return to Officer Nicholas. Or Nikki, whatever you want to call him. Okay, sprinting is actually kind of handy with both hyper-oxygenation upgrades and the sprint enhancement. Check it out. Speed! Welcome to the Detroit Automated Information Network. So let's go all the way back to the convention center to turn in the quest. All right, let's turn it in. I really appreciate you helping us out, Adam, but we're running out of time. We gotta find White before he blows something up. Complete quest. We're in the clear. I left White unconscious in the sewers under the precinct. Thank God. The Chief finally took me seriously and is sending some men to help out. We'll take it from here. Great. Anything else? Yeah, like we talked about. Here's your cut of the Deadpool bounty. I threw in a little something extra for bringing him in alive. It's good to know you're still one of the good guys, Jensen. By the way, Nikki, White's bomb wasn't even explosive. It was a gas bomb. I managed to disable it, but you might want to get a disposal team down there to do a proper sweep and clean. Ah, shit! I totally forgot about that. I'll get EOD on it right away. Last thing we need are more casualties. Man, I'm sure glad I bumped into you tonight. You're gonna have to let me buy you a pint down at Maggie sometime. If I hang around you long enough, maybe some of that famous Jensen swagger will rub off on me. Yeah, we'll do that sometime. 
Take care of yourself, Nikki. Nora 92 to Central. Come in, Central. Over. All right. That got us an achievement. Smash the state. Help Officer Nicholas take out the trash. That's 33 out of 49 achievements. We're up to 67%. Not bad. So, we got 1,000 credits, 1,000 XP, and a silencer mod. We did unlock a Praxis point, which, whatever, I'll spend it on Flash Suppressant. Maybe I'll do cooldown timer for the next one. I'm just really, it's really hard to care about anything that's still available to me. But, uh, again, I digress. Yeah, I'll get cooldown timer next. Nora 92, this is central. Oh. I could sell the silencer, but at this point I also have very little use for credits. That code 10 I called in earlier, it's actually gas ordinance. We need EOD down there for cleanup, stat. Tell first response to keep their hands off, and we should quarantine the block just to be sure. Over. 10-4, Nora 92. Thanks for the heads up. Stand by for updates. Central out. Thanks for trusting me, Jensen. I won't forget it. We lost a good man when you went private, Jensen. We lost a good man when you went private, Jensen. All right. With that done, I'll do another permasave. And now we'll go ahead and go uh, take care of Isaiah Sandoval. before calling it a video. Heck, I might even- I might just do the rest of Detroit in this video, we'll see. We just- we have Sandoval's hideout, which is a sh really small level, like the convention center was. And then we have another little trip to Seraph Industries. And then we go back to Hengsha, so... I don't know. How long have I been playing this time? 91 minutes, current session. Well, that's long enough to call it a video, but... It's not so long I need to stop, either. We can at least do Sandoval. But then maybe I'll do Seraph Industries separately. So this is the building doing out here, anyway? we need to head into. I don't want to go back out. Here we go. We got to go down this staircase right here. You sure you closed the door? Yeah. yeah. Of course I did. What do you think I am? You idiot. You're not going to make me answer that, are you? Wait a minute. Take them out. Fuck. Okay, I want to I want to get up on those guys while they're still talking to each other because we need to do double takedowns here and there's a stealth bone. Oh no. Let's load the newest auto save. I hate forgetting to quick save. Thank goodness it auto saves at the entrance to that building. All right, now let's re quick save. And then, oops, blew right past it again. Now we'll head down here. You sure you close the door? Yeah. Of course I did. What do you think I am? Alright. Well, there's our handy double takedown. 59 credits on that one. Three revolver bullets on that one. We haven't seen Purity First guys in forever. Not since our first trip to Detroit. Well, let's hide them upstairs. That leaves eight bad guys. And one of them is actually pretty familiar to us. 
you'll see. So I don't think there's anything farther down the stairs. Not inside the building. Yeah. Just the one apartment on the level where we knocked the guys out. So let's creep in here, but we gotta be careful. As you see the dead Seraph guard. He's got a Praxis kit next to his outstretched hand. Oh, and he's rigged, see? Zeke is actually pretty clever. It, 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 it's Zeke Sanders, if that much wasn't obvious. I just bought the flash suppressant. The concussion mine grenade shouldn't have worked on me. But we'll leave that for now. And yeah, nothing on the body. Oh yeah, and you see the Praxis kid is wired to the corpse. There's his pistol. I don't really want to mess with any of that. I know that, including Zeke, there's an even number of bad guys, so I need to deal with him. There he is. Okay. I need to open the door, let him finish that search, and then I need to, well, I don't know what I need to do after that, but. I don't like this. You blew it, man! Alright, for now, let's just focus on getting behind him. And let's get these crates out of the way. So I think he's just going to stand there. Until or unless something bothers him. But. Okay. I'm almost certain he's going to hear me punch through the wall. Richard, looks like Sandoval's got a secret bunker. I'm gonna flush him out. Let's hope he's still there. Okay, yeah. We we can't arrange a double takedown for Zeke. That much is obvious. Well, let's just get behind him and then nab the Praxis kit. Single takedown is good enough. Zeke's got painkillers and a pocket secretary and two shotgun cartridges. New safe from IS at 48626-48911.st.org to Ezekiel at yazura.det.usa. Hello, brother. I've had the old safe replaced. It was of poor design and I didn't trust it, especially in this area. The new one's code is 5463. Don't be greedy. I. All right. Now let's grab that Praxis kit. 
nothing ha nothing bad happens with Zeke down. Oh uh, yeah, let's get the cooldown timer. Just to turn another one green. In the spirit of turning him green, I think next I'll get recoil compensation one and two. I'm really running out of things to spend them on. I keep saying that, but... Anyway, behind the picture frame, we've got a level four safe to hack. Now this grid is actually... Well, it's not too complex. If I just loop down here and get the data store on my way to the exit, I'll be fine. Access granted. 400 credits, a stop worm, 100 XP. Inside the safe, we've got... Frag mines, tranquilizer darts, stun gun darts, 210 credits, 78 credits. Pretty awesome. Get inside Sandoval's apartment was worth 750 XP, by the way. Our new goal is find and confront Sandoval. Looks like Sandoval didn't just go to his apartment to sleep. He used it to flee into the sewers. He's got to be down there somewhere, possibly protected by friends. Whatever it takes, I've got to find him. Anyway, it should have been there should have been some experience for popping in here, too. Why do we always get assigned to the shittiest spots? Yeah, why do you hear someone jumping around over there? Oh, Jensen. Let's be a little more careful. I needed to pay attention to my experience log. I guess I got everything. Okay, well let's use a uh, jump land silently. Now that I have always a get assigned to the shittiest spots. Yeah, why would anyone come down here? I think they're afraid someone's gonna try to sneak a bomb into the Doc's locker. I'd be more worried about what's in the Doc's head than what's in his locker. What Dad! the fuck is that? Alright, we got two bad guys over there, which are... who are chatting with each other. Very conveniently positioned for a takedown, but... I'm gonna have to at least use a bar just to... to the cloak spot. up and get around Why there. Why anyone come down here? I think they're afraid someone's gonna try to... <laughs> All right, that should leave five bad guys. 147 credits, four shotgun cartridges. 116 credits, two revolver ammo. Now, where did I come out? Right over here. Well, let's leave these guys in this little niche. Should work fine. This one, did I search the other one? I'll make sure once I get the body in there. So we got five bad guys left. Yeah, I did search them all. Combat rifle ammo. Revolver ammo. Sniper rifle ammo. Shotgun cartridges. Revolver, 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 combat rifle, shotgun, combat rifle. Alright, that's all well and good. This container accesses a new area of the sewers. Let's see what's up these stairs before we do anything else.
There must be some way you can open this from this side. Doesn't matter much. We got through, so... Let's keep on going. Down this ladder. He seems to be the farthest away from the other guys. That's our one single takedown. We'll get the other four with doubles. Yeah, I need to search him. Two shotgun cartridges. Yahoo. If Sandoval doesn't come out of there in a few minutes, I'm going in. No, you're not. He's... You're dead, Connor! Damn it. I want to get these two guys in their conversation. That other guy leaning, up, leaning against the bridge. I don't think he'll hear. If Sandoval doesn't... Let's use another pro energy bar just so I can cloak and then head in there. Few minutes, I'm going. No, you're not. He's on the... Better get some back. Okay, no, he the bridge guy is close enough to hear. That's too bad. Let's try pulling the other two together first then. One hundred XP for getting into this little area. Can I open this door? No. If Sandoval doesn't come out of there, someone. Well, I see. Dang it! I just wanted to. Uh, Pull the bridge leaner out into the other guy's patrol route. Which seemed like a solid idea. I think it still is. If Sandoval doesn't come out of there in a few minutes, I'm going in. No, you're not. That? He's on the edge. There's no telling what he'll do. More of a reason to go in there and talk to him. Hell no. I don't want to walk in on him. He might get scared and stop popping off shots. Just let him sort out this mess by himself. Now what would would have been really helpful is if I could have done that without triggering the conversation, but hey, hey, get up. This is a spot, man. Crud. Come on. Hell no. That? I don't want to walk in on him. He might get scared and stop popping off shots. Just let him sort out this mess by himself. The heck was that? Well, it looks like those two are going to stay pretty close together, which is good. Who's that? But I can't seem to be quite as flawless pulling that guy out again. If Sandoval doesn't come out of there in a few minutes, I'm going in. No, you're not. He's come on. You yeah. son of a bitch! Oh, the other guy saw me? Really? This shouldn't be that tough. Come on. 
If Sandoval doesn't come what out of there in a few minutes, I'm going in. No, you're not. He's on the edge. There's no telling what he'll do. More of a reason to go in there and talk. Oh, the problem is the other guy is seeing me. Okay, duh. Oh. And only... If two guards see you, only one will go search. If Sandoval doesn't come out of there in a few minutes, I'm going in. No, you're not. He's on the edge. There's no telling what he'll do. Someone... Who the hell are you going... That was a little too long. I know this will work though, because I had them together just a second. Oh, come on! Sorry, I'm getting a little frustrated, but it's like practically dancing where the other guy can see me. Someone over there? I'm going in. No, you're not. But the wrong one keeps spotting me. There we go. Go in there and talk. Hell no. I don't want to walk in on him. You might get scared and stop popping off shots. Just let him sort out this mess by himself. All right, good. There's two down. That one's got four shotgun cartridges. That one's got 78 credits, two shotgun cartridges, and another pocket secretary. Watch your step from Sandman at gaggle.det.usa to bark barkclench37 at gaggle.det.usa. Hey, Barkley, one of your guys tripped the goddamn lasers again. This is not a fucking toy. Here, the code to disable the grid is 8218. Turn it off when these clowns are around. Setting this back up properly is a bitch. Okay, now, hopefully I can get those two guys. Looks like they're just holding still. They are perfect. Well, that was glorious. Let's pull him out, I just... It's not like it'll actually drown him, but... That one's got nothing. That one's got nothing. Three shotgun cartridges. And that's it for bad guys. This area is now clear of enemies. So let's search it. Here's an alarm panel. Which we will obviously hack. This one's pretty straightforward. Access granted. One stop worm, 50 XP. Disable the alarm. Now what do we have? Here's the laser system terminal. We'll hack it too. Access granted. 250 credits, 100 XP, and we'll disable the lasers. Now we're not out of the woods yet. As you can probably see, there's still frag mines. There's one right on the other side of this bridge, too, so... Gotta move a little more carefully getting it. Here's number three. Over here is number four. Be careful with it, too. All 
All right, that's all of that. That door is Sandoval. There's one other thing we need to do first. If I can track it down. Yes, right here. There's another weak wall to punch through. Inside, we get 200 XP, a Cyber Boost Pro Energy Bar. All right, let's go chat with Sandoval now. That's everything. This triggers another social battle. So, and of course there's an achievement for winning it. Gunshots! You've got to help me! You've got to come! I'm only gonna ask you this once, Sandoval. Where are the scientists you helped kidnap? I... I don't know! I know all about FEMA and how you removed the GPLs. I didn't! I didn't remove anything! I swear it! The operation was too dangerous! They would have died if I removed them! All I could do was switch them to a lower frequency! The GPLs are still broadcasting? I don't know. Probably. Well, Sandy, you're gonna help me find out. We're going back to Detroit, where you and I are gonna... Ugh. Come up! I see you! What? Hold on. Now I'm confused. This is annoying me. There should be a conversation. I see you! And never will control these experiments. This company prides itself on maintaining a safe environment. Die! Must. We invite critics and members of the UN to tour our facilities first hand. They Pritchard, get this. The GPLs are still transmitting. Sandoval switched them to a lower frequency. But, but they could be broadcasting anywhere in the world. Why isn't it giving me the social battle? I've got Ghost, I've got Smooth Operator. It's our only lead, Pritchard. You have to do something. I know. Listen, the riot's still blocking the street entrance. Head back to your apartment and Malik will fly you over. Maybe by the time you get here, I'll have figured out something. After viewing controversial satellite footage uncovered by Picus. Detroit, Toronto, Mumbai, and... Um, hold on, folks. I don't know what's causing this. So... Let me make a new save here. I mean, it gave me Ghost and Smooth Operator, so I know 
we stealth successfully stealth stealthed our way through the sewers, and he's supposed to get into the conversation with you if you put the evidence on the computer to frame Taggart. So let me do a little research. I'll be right back.